Welcome to this link lotion instruction video. I really hope it will help you enjoy your time in the saddle, even more. The method we are about to show you here, is the one with the chain still on the bike. Although it's even better to remove the chain, and use our chain off method. But this works well, if done properly. Remember, it's important to do it carefully, especially the first time, when you go from sticky, filthy mineral lubricants to clean dry wax. See more about the chain off method, in our video that covers that. The first step, is to wash the chain and the gears, from all existing lubricants. Remove the rear brake pads, if you are really serious, and cover the brake disc. Then use a chain scrubber, filled with lamp oil. Change the oil several times. And don't forget to recycle it. Clean the gears, with a brush and lamp oil, and then rinse everything with water. Step 2, repeat the whole process several times, now with a mild degreaser. Step 3, repeat the whole process several times, now with warm water and dish detergent. Step 4, and finally repeat the process several times, now with cleaning alcohol. We prefer concentrated washer fluid. Now, it's important to dry the entire driveline, as quickly as possible to prevent corrosion. Use paper towels or a rag, and maybe a hairdryer if you have one. It's to prefer if you have access to compressed air. If you do, blow everything dry, especially the chain. Do not blow hard near bearings, ceilings and other similar parts. Dirt and contaminants can enter them. Finish off, by spraying an alcohol water solution, or brake cleaner, on the brake disc and blow it dry. Don't forget to refit the brake pads, if you removed them. When the driveline is completely dry, it is time to apply link lotion to the chain. Deactivate the rear derailleur clutch, to make the chain as loose as possible. Place, or hold a clean container under the chain, if you want to reuse the spill. Apply link lotion along the chain in segments, and move it around, to make sure the lubricant enters the links. This is crucial, to get the most out of any lubricant. Alternatively, you can crank the chain, while holding the nozzle in one place. Then, let the chain go through all the gears, partly to open the links, partly to leave some of the lubricants on the gear rings. Add some more link lotion, and exercise the chain again, if you're really serious. Then, let the bike rest completely, preferably overnight, to give link lotion time to become completely dry, in the most important places, inside the links. The next day, it's time to activate link lotion, which has now hardened. The chain and chain rings, are now all covered in a snowy layer of paraffin. This layer has to be smeared out, on the outside of the chain and the gears, as well as, and this is very important, on the inside of the links moving parts. We will use the superfluous, hardened lotion for that purpose. Partly to reduce friction even more, partly to achieve decent corrosion protection. Use a rag, if you have nothing else, but it's much better with some soft wire brushes. We prefer a set of steel, brass and nylon brushes. Crank the chain, while holding the brushes in suitable places, and let the cranking do the work. Start with the metal brushes, and finish with nylon. Do not brush away the paraffin left between the cog teeth. Those, and the inside of the links, are lubricated and activated by the running chain. Use a larger brush, or compressed air, to clean the bike from all the paraffin flakes, that have landed everywhere, which is inevitable. A minor running in period of the waxed chain is needed, but soon it spins and shifts like a silent dream. And it will remain doing so, for more kilometers than you can ever imagine. After a dirty, 
or wet ride, use only a brush, water and gentle blowing, to clean the chain. Do not use any solvents, from now on. We want to get rid of the dirt, not the remaining paraffin coating. After drying, apply a small amount of link lotion, and run the activation process, to perform maintenance lubrication. All we have mentioned in this video, is our way of doing it. And it works for us. Please feel free to experiment, and let us know in the comments, if you invent some improvements. Thank you. And, have a happy ride.